Hello, hello. Hello, my dear students. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good happy, evening. happy Thanksgiving. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo es la palabra en sí? Thanksgiving o Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Ah, th thanks. Ah, thanks. thanks. Thanks because it's a it's a day for you to be thankful for. So it's Thanksgiving. Es el día de dar gracias. Today is Thanksgiving. I am very, very happy to be here with you once again in this final class of the week. And for sure, I am very glad that today, Thanksgiving Day, I am sharing it here with all of you, right? I am very thankful for all my students and that is fantastic. So how was your day? Did you have a good day today? How was your day? Stressful. Stressful, I imagine. Well, Francisco says that his day was stressful. What about the rest? Mr. Alfredo, Roberto, let me see, um, Angela. My day was busy. Busy, your day was busy, mm -hmm. I imagine. Uh, weird. Weird, why? Why was your day weird? Because uh, I, I, I have a sleepy all day, but when I have to go sleep, I I can't. <laughs> you were falling asleep the whole day, but at the moment that you go to the bed, it's like, you can't, right? <laughs> that's, that's weird. <laughs> like 6 p.m. Oh, my God. Well, that is strange. Well, but maybe later at night you are going to fall asleep. If not, get an algebra and start reading, and you're going to fall asleep right away. Good, very good. Thank you, Angela. Uh, Mr. Alfredo, what were you telling me? How was your day? Hello, good evening. Hi. Haven't I did a lot of work? A lot of work. You had a lot uh, of work, uh huh? Yes, I feel tired. I imagine that you feel tired. Let me see. I am going to ask one more. Miss Catherine Reyes, how was your day? Mm, it was a good day. It was a good day. Well, that's yeah. fantastic. Well, I am very glad to see all of you, right? To see the ones that have their cameras on. And for sure, uh, to see all the rest of you who are joining the class. Well, I am going to go and move a little bit here on uh, today's class. I am going to share my screen. And here we go. Right, today we're going to finish working on section number five. And I am going to give you the details for the presentation on Tuesday. So that it's going to be at the end of the class. Today, as it is Thanksgiving, right? We are going to talk about quantifiers. And I, uh, well, I am going to remind you a little bit about the agreements, practice your English as much as possible, be respectful, attend all your classes, uh, keep your cameras active all the time. Remember to work on the educational platform. Most of you finish, some of you have had difficulties, but we're going to fix them right away and keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group, right? Today, as it is Thanksgiving, I wanted to start the class by asking you a question. What are you thankful for? I need you to think about one thing that you are thankful for, and all of you are going to tell me one thing that you thank life for. For example, I can say that I am very thankful for 
uh, my family, my friends, and my students. I am very thankful for that, right? And for the opportunity to work with amazing people like you. That is what I am thankful for. What are you thankful for? Think about that for about one minute. And all of you are going to tell me, what are you thankful for tonight and during your whole life? Uh -huh. If you're ready and if you know what you are thankful for, you can start. I'm thankful for my family, friends, and good health. Very good. For my family, for my friends, and for my good health. That's excellent. Thank you, Angela. Who's next? Um, anybody. It, it can be. It's volunteer. That's for, for my family and my job. For everything in life. For your family, for your job, and for everything in your life. That's very good. Excellent. Someone else? I am thankful for uh, the health of my family. Good. The life of my family <laughs> and, and me. Very good. For the health for your life, for your family, and for your own. That's very good. Thank you, Mr. Francisco. Go ahead. Who's next? I I am thankful, thankful for, for, for my family, my house, my work, and my car. <laughs> That's very good, right? For all the things that you have obtained and for your family. That's very good. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. Who's next? Me. I am thank you. Thankful. Thank you. Uh, I am thankful for my job, my family. My good health. My good health. Yes. Excellent. Thank okay. you, Jonathan. Thank you. Catherine, you were going to talk. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, I am thankful for my family, for my friends, my job that I have, and my good health. Thank you very much, Catherine, for sharing. Who's next? Ooh. I'm thankful for my family uh, and my life. For your family and for your life. Thank you, Monica. Thank you very much for sharing. I'm thankful for the health of my family. For the health of your family. Excellent. Thank you, Mario. Who's next? I am thankful for my family, my job, my heart, and for all the things. Thank you. Thank you, Jocelyn, for your family and for all the things that you have. That's very beautiful. Thank you, Jocelyn. Who's next? Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for my family, my work, for my friends, um, for my health. Very good, very good. Thank you, Alfredo, for sharing. Very nice. Someone else? We go in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, Marlon Barrientos. Go ahead. <laughs> I am thankful for my job, for my family, and for my help. For your help. Thank you very much. Someone else? Uh -huh. Miss Lisette Castillo, I haven't listened to your voice today. <laughs> I thank you for, for my family, my job, for my house, and my life. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Am I missing someone? Let's see. Hazel, Mariela. Miss Hazel. Eh, hey, Angelica, last one. Yeah. Ah, there you go. There hey, you go. Sorry. No, no, Angel, go, go, go. Okay. Uh, I thankful for my life, my family life, uh, or good health, and or job, and for the love of my family. That's very beautiful. Thank you, Hazel, for sharing sharing those beautiful words that you did. Very nice, Angelica. I'm thankful for my job, my family, and the possibilities that I have what others don't have. Thank you very much. That's very beautiful to think. The possibilities that I have that others do not have, right? So we have to really think about that. And Vanessa Carranza, I think I am missing you or? I am thankful for my family, my job, um, my husband, my mother. That's very beautiful. General. Thank you, thank you, Vanessa. Am I missing someone? Se me quedó alguien que no le llamé, no le mencioné su nombre. No. Tatiana. I think, I think for, for my life and some of my family, friends, and job. That's very beautiful. Thank you, Tatiana, for sharing. So it is always necessary to stop and think how blessed you are and all the things that you receive every single day. So we are very thankful to have the opportunity to meet you, right? Nadie se imaginó que vamos a tener la oportunidad de conocernos y mírenos, aquí estamos. <laughs> so I am thankful for that. That's very beautiful. Excellent, my dear students. Thank you for sharing. So we have been working on the different vocabulary about the members of the family, right? We were discussing this yesterday the relationships that we have with the different members of the family, right? We were reviewing a little bit of the present continuous, right? In the forms of questions about uh, your family. What are your family members doing right now? And you were sharing a little bit about uh, what, what your family members were doing. And I chose this one just to make a quick review of the present continuous statements, right? For you to remember a little bit on how to create them. I know that you studied this before, right? But it is always good for you to catch up a little bit and uh, review. In this case, I have examples of the present continuous sentences and some of the conjunctions and, and but, right? Those are conjunctions. When you use them to join two sentences and is for two similar sentences and but is for two uh, contrary sentences. The examples that we have there, it is snowing and it is very cold. The two sentences are very similar. In the next one, it says, I am wearing a coat, but I am not wearing boots. In this case, the sentences are different, right? As you can see here, the present continuous sentences use a specific type of verb. What is it? ¿Cuál es el tipo de verbo específico que usan los continuous forms antes del verbo principal? ¿Qué tipo de verbo usamos? Ajá. The verb to be. The verb to be. Excellent, Angelica. We use the verb to be and then we use the main verb. So in this case, the verb to be is an auxiliary form, right? You use it as an auxiliary. And the main verb of the sentence is in the ing form that represents the continuous action, an action that is taking place on the moment, right? And here we have examples about uh, affirmative sentences. And on the negative sentences, you have the auxiliary verb, the, the verb to be, you use not, and the verb in the original form in ing, right? For example, right now, I am not watching TV. I am teaching. 
What is something that you are not doing right now? What is something that you are not doing right now? I am not watching TV. I am teaching a class. What are you not doing right now? Can you give me an example? I am not taking a shower. I am not taking a shower, right? You are in the class. Another example? I am not playing video games. I am not I'm playing video games. Studying English. I am studying English. Good, very good. Another example. I am not job. I am not working in this case. I am not working. Uh -huh. I am not playing soccer. I am not playing soccer. And who was the other one who was speaking? I think it was. Uh, who was the other one giving me the other example? So Jonathan is not playing soccer. And Francisco? I am not, I am not swimming. I am not swimming, right? I am not swimming. Something that you are not doing right now. And for sure, when you are asking the questions with the present continuous forms, you put the verb to be at the beginning right, the auxiliary form of the verb to be according to the subject that you have, right? You are not going to tell me, is we, is we swimming? Because is is only for he, she, and it. And are is for we, you, and they, right? And also for I, you use am. But in many of the cases, you don't ask questions to yourself. It is not very common. Here you have examples. Are you wearing a suit? Are you wearing boots? Are they wearing glasses? Are you listening to music, students? Are you listening to music right now? No, I am. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. Sorry. No, I'm are, not. You, no, are you are you sleeping? No, 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 I'm not. no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Are you jumping? No, no, I'm not. no, I'm not. no I'm not. Are you speaking? Yes, yes I, I am. am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Right. yes, I am. Yes, I am. Remember the M? It's like, hmm? yes, I am. Do you don't say yes, I am? No, yes, I am. <laughs> are you, are you dancing in the rain? Are you dancing no, in the I rain? Am I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. I am not. Are you skiing? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Are you visiting someone in the hospital? No, I'm not. No, I am I'm not. not. I'm not. Create the question. Are you? Are you shopping? shopping? Are you shopping? No. 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 Oh, I am not. Uh, are you cooking? You're cooking. Are you cooking? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is, I'm what not. is what is this action? What is this action? Darle comida a los animales. What is this action? Feeding. Feeding. Very good. Are you feeding the cat? Are you feeding the cat? <laughs> no, because I don't have a cat. <laughs> Are you? Are you playing, Are you playing the piano? piano? Play piano. No, no, play no, piano. Not. no, no not. because I don't have a piano. Are you playing the guitar? Are you playing the guitar? Are you playing the guitar? Good. Now, tell me one no. sentence. Tell me one sentence about one member of your family doing the action that I am going to show you. For example, here, my... Uh, Uncle Petronilo is painting the house. My uncle is painting the house. Let's see, Jocelyn, give me one sentence about your family member and the action. My sister Glendy is riding a bike. Very good. Jocelyn, who's next? Dime otro nombre. Uh, Catherine Reyes. Catherine Reyes, invent the sentence. A family member. 
Mm, my father is swimming. My father is swimming. Good. Catherine, who's next? Uh, let's see. Carolina Rivera. Carolina, invent the sentence. Is mm, acting. But who? Who? Tell me one member of your family. Uh -huh. One member of your Stand family. Down. Your brother, your father, your boyfriend. Your brother is mm, act, acting. My brother act. is acting. Thank you. Who's next, Carolina? <coughs> is his name Eric. Eric. My sister is. ¿Cómo se sería? Sing. Singing. 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 Very good. Thank Singing. you very much. Tatiana. My mother. ¿Cómo se dice reparar? How do you say reparar? Fixing. Fixing, very good. My mother fixing TV. He's fixing the TV, very good. Alfredo, the next one. Alfredo. Hello, my sister is cleaning. My sister is cleaning, very good. Let's see, Monica. Moniquita. There you go. My father is my father is washing up. Washing washing the washing the clothes. Very good. Angela. My grandfather is cooking. My grandfather is cooking. Very good. Vanessa. My mother is singer, is dancing. My mother is dancing, right? Very good. Con ese novio francés con el que nos pasó. <laughs> Let's see. The next one, Mr. Mario Barona. My son is playing. My son is playing. Very good. Hazel. Is my brother is I must say <laughs> my brother is combing, combing or brushing, combing or brushing hair, hair. I am going to send it on the chat in a, very good. Let's see, let's go with uh, Rebecca. Rebecca Estefania. This one. My mother is uh, planting, uh, I don't know. <laughs> planting flowers, right? My, my mother planting is planting flowers. flowers. Very good. Lisette, the last one. There you go. My husband is planting. Planting. My the husband flower. Is, my husband is planting the flowers. That's very good. Thank you very much. Excellent. So let's continue here. These are sentences for sure in present continuous, right? About activities that members of your family are doing or were doing in the moment. Thank you very much for the examples. The question here, if you want to be very specific about what was going on, you say, what are they doing? Or what is he doing, right? 
if you want to get a specific information about a specific person. But if I ask you, for example, what is Katherine doing? What will be your answer? What is Katherine doing right now? Uh -huh. She is studying. She's studying. studying, right? She's studying, good. What is Jonathan doing right now? Jonathan Gabriel. He's learning. Sorry, teacher. He's learning English, right? He's learning English, very good. So this is another form of question that we were doing. Do you remember what the brother of the lady of the conversation was doing? Yesterday we read a conversation and there was a brother who was doing something specific. Do you remember what was it? Wildlife a photographer. He was, he was a wildlife photographer, but he was doing something specific in that moment. He was traveling in the Amazon. Traveling in the Amazon. Very good. So here, here we have two conversations, right? We have two conversations about two different people that were in two different places. And here you have uh, Stephanie, right? In the first conversation. And it says, hi, Stephanie, what? The auxiliary is going to be? Are. What are, are you doing? doing? What doing. are you doing, right? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, Mark, I standing. standing. What is it? I am. Um, mm -hmm, very good. Um, I am right standing. I am standing in an elevator and it's stuck. Right? It's stuck if like it's not moving. And, ah, and it's stuck. Oh no, are you okay? Yeah, I uh wait, it. It's moving. 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 It is moving. It is moving. It is moving. It is moving. Now, thank goodness. Right? Thank goodness is like, ah, gracias a Dios, right? Thank goodness. Marcy, how are, are, how are uh, you? How are you and Justin? Enjoying. 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 Your shopping trip. We we are we are we are, we are having, having we are having good. We're having a lot of fun. Your brother. Are you, is, are you, is your ah, brother? Your brother. Is your ah. brother? In this is. case, is porque estamos refiriendo a nuestro hermano, right? Is your brother? Spending, 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 right? Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom, he is, he is, he is buying. 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 He is buying only one or two things. And look at him. He has a lot of bags. Uh -huh. Yeah, su esposa y el aguinaldo, you see? <laughs> one or two things. Yeah. Never believe on that, okay? Si su esposa o su esposo le dicen, voy a ir a comprar unas dos cosas al super. Mm. Mm. That's not true. <laughs> they are spending a lot of a lot of things. Yeah. The problem here in my house is if I send my husband to Dollar City alone. Mm. Forget it. That's he comes back like this. So it's dangerous. So tell me, hi students, what are you doing? Hey Mark, I am standing in a elevator. Very good, Francisco. You saved the group. Francisco salvo el grupo. ¿Qué pasó con los demás? Okay, okay. Uh, el pedazo de pavo aquí me estaba comiendo chas. Okay. Voy a hacer de caso que no pasó nada. One, two, three. Hi, students. What are you doing? Hey, Mark. I'm studying. Yeah. No le voy a contestar porque yo no soy Mark. 
Hi, students. What are you doing? Hi, Nati. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Students, how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? We are, we are having, having, having a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We are having a lot of fun. Tell me, is your brother spending a lot of money? No. No. One or two things, right? That's all. Very good. Thank you, students. Very good job. <laughs> very nice job. Okay, very good. So here, in this case, you are using the sentences, right, in present continuous about situations that are happening on the moment, right? Talking about this, right, we can jump a little bit to talk about quantifiers. Do you know what quantifiers are? ¿Qué se le viene a la cabeza cuando le digo quantifiers? Como cantidades. Cantidades, ajá. ¿Qué, ¿Qué otra cosa se le viene así como a la idea? Porcentajes. Porcentajes, Percent. right? Percents, very good. So, quantifiers are the words that I am marking right here. Oh, yeah. And they go around percentages, right? They go from 100% to 0%, right? 100% will be all. Nearly all will be what? Like a 90%, let's say. It will be like a 90%. And then we go like an 80%. Then we go like for a 75%. Like a 60%, a 50%, a 45%, a 35%, 30%, 20, and 10 or none, right? You go like this and you mark quantifiers like that. In this case, I have here presented the little quantities that we have for the quantifiers, right? 100 will be. All. I can say that all Salvadorians love pupusas. 100% of Salvadorians. All. All of them, right? All. Nearly all, nearly all, all like, all. like Loroco, right? Nearly mm. all. Because there are nearly. some people who say, mm, oh, maybe 90%. 90% of Salvadorians like Loroco. Most of Salvadorians eat beans and eggs for breakfast, right? Many families eat tamales on the weekend. A lot of Salvadorians have a dog in their house. A lot of Salvadorians. Some Salvadorians don't like pacaya. I am one. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Not many Salvadorians have two houses. Or do you have two houses on your own? Not right. Not many no. Salvadorians, right? No one. Ay, qué aburrido aquí me voy a ir a la otra casa. <laughs> Not even have one. I don't even have one. It's like my hero is like, ay, qué calor aquí. Voy a ir a la otra casa. <laughs> well, it depends. La casa de la playa. <laughs> well, yes. Hay familias que tienen dos, pero bajo de agua. <laughs> so you have to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Ya, vamos a revisar el video a ver quién dijo que tiene dos. Okay. A few. A few Salvadorian houses have more than two dogs. A few Salvadorian houses have more than two dogs. And Few Salvadorians hate beans. Yeah, few Salvadorians hate beans. Beans are frijolitos, right? And no one in El Salvador, no one in El Salvador, um, let me see. 
No one in El Salvador hates la selecta. <laughs> <risa> no, no, one, no, one. Ah, no, no, eso es mentira. Siempre que juegan, ay, mi selecta. Ya cuando pierde, anyway. That. Cuando juega, ah, I love my, my, my country. Ajá. Hmm, that's what they do. No, ya, no estados, teacher. <risa> ni, ni vienen a clase por ver a los <laughs> Yo vengo, la escucho. <laughs> okay, so that's that's examples of quantifiers. They give you ideas of quantities and percentages to explain a situation. Here, for example, these are examples of Japan, right? All families have only one child. Here in El Salvador, it doesn't apply. Okay, esto no aplica para nosotros. Well, I have only one child, but Kiara counts as two. Creo que Kiara cuenta como el segundo. And my husband, like the third one. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I have only one. And nearly all families have one child, and most of them have only one child. The next example, can you help me to read the next example? Many the families are smaller these days many families are are smaller these days and this one applies for our country remember in the past Ooh, families had like 10 kids and uh -huh. uh -huh. i think it, who was who was the one who had 15 brothers and sisters ¿Quién tenía 15 hermanos y hermanas? Me, eric eric <laughs> Eric, oh, una familia muy, muy abundante. Teacher. Yes. The word nearly all is casi todos. Casi todos. Yes. Most. Por el, es la mayoría. La mayoría. La mayoría. Yes. Many. Muchos. muchos. A lot of. Muchos cinco. también. Like mm, a some. lot of like muchos de ellos. Some. Muchos de ellos. Algunos. algunos, perdón. Not many. No, no muchos. No muchos. A few, unos cuantos. Few, pocos. Right? No a, few, a few, unos cuantos. Few, pocos. No one, anybody. Nadie. Nadie, nadie no one. Okay, no one. thank you. <laughs> nadie, no one, anybody. Okay, good. So that's the example. It says, uh, a lot of families are, are smaller these days. Can you help me, Carolina, to read the next example? Not many. Not many. Not many. Not many couples. Couple have more that on children. One child. One child. One Not child. many couples have more than one child. And the last one, uh, let me see. Mario Barahona, can you help me to read? No one? No one gets married before the age of... 18. 18. No one gets married before the age of 18. I think you cannot do it here in El Salvador either, right? Because you, if you don't have a dui, you don't get married. Only if your parents permit that. But I think it, it doesn't happen here. Now, based on these examples, you can see the quantifiers go at the beginning of the sentence, right? And can you help me to create one sentence using one of the quantifiers? You can raise your hand and give me one example. Um, teacher, uh -huh. uh, a lot of people have car. A lot of people. A lot of people have a car. Very good. Excellent example. Another example. Uh, men are fightful. Many men are what? <laughs> All men. All men are fightful. 
All men are faithful. Yeah, todos son fieles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the ladies. All the ladies in El Salvador are trustworthy and faithful. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, when you fall in love, you are. That's it. Thank you, Eric. Excellent example. Another example. Uh-huh. Nearly all persons have Facebook. Nearly all per, nearly all uh, people have Facebook, right? All of you have Facebook, right? A few of you have TikTok. A few of you. But many of you have Facebook. Very good. Excellent. It's my turn. Go ahead. Many people like sushi. Many people like sushi, right? Yeah, it's good. Depending, right? You have to enjoy it. You have to know how to enjoy it, how to prepare it and everything. And it's a good meal. Who doesn't like sushi here? Who doesn't like sushi? Ay, resulta que a todos le gusta. Yeah, yeah. me. <laughs> Emilia, you like or you don't like? You like, like. So you say, I, I, like. I like, good, I very good. I love sushi. You love sushi, that's very good. So all my students love sushi. Ajá, ¿la podemos comer ahorita? <ríe> no, teacher, no. Sushiñito. Sushiñito. No lo he probado. So, you see, be honest. <ríe> Yo I tampoco. Have, I have tried only one time. And it was good. It was good. Yeah, yo no le iba a hacer, pero it was good. So, I have here sentences, but with percentages, right? I need you to transform the sentences with a quantifier, right? Here we have the quantifiers and here we have the example sentences. In the case of China, you have an example with the 50%. How can you transform this complete sentence using a quantifier in the 50%? Uh-huh. Challenging. A lot of Chinese people get married at the age of 22. Yes, let's use women. Ah, women. Uh -huh. a, lot of, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Where? In China. Ah. In China, huh? <laughs> A lot of women in China get married by the age of 22. Thank you, Angelica. Excellent job. The next one. Can you help me with the next example? 87%. Uh -huh. How would you transform that one? How would you transform that one? In Austria. In Australia. In Australia, most of married couples have children. Okay, in Australia, most of married couples have children, right? Very good. Or it can be nearly all. In, in Australia, nearly all of nearly married all couples. Nearly all. Excellent, children. because you have 87%. Very good. The next one, in the United States, 0%. In the United States, in the United States yeah. no one votes of the people vote before the age of 18. Okay, I am going to make just one correction. You cannot say no one of the people, porque no one ya significa nadie, ninguno, ningún humano, ninguna persona. So in this case, in you say... No one says to you all. No one, exactly. Uh -huh. okay. You only use no one. So no one. In the United States, no one bought before the age of 18. Very good. No one. No one votes before the age of 18. No one, right? Very good. Number four. 
Some people in Germany live alone. Very good job. Some people in Germany live alone. Some people in Germany live alone. And the last one. Most of American high school students have jobs. Most of American high school students have a job. Very good sentences, my dear students. Yay! It was not that difficult. A muchos les cuesta un montón crearlos, pero para usted fue bastante sencillo. So I explained it in the correct way. I am very happy because of that. So I have here a little conversation. I need, a, let me see. I need Monica and Jonathan to help me to read it. Jonathan Gabriel. Okay. How many, how many brothers and sisters do you like, uh, Monica? Actuality, I am an only children. Really? Yeah, most families in China in China have only one child, no, no white days. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller than they, but big families are great because you get a lot of future present. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks for your friends. Very good. Ajá. A ver, ¿quién me ayuda con las correcciones de pronunciación que he marcado? How do you pronounce this one? The first one. Actually. 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 China. Actually. Actually. China. Right. China. 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 I know where they are. I know where they are. No where they are. Okay. So. This is child. 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 Nowadays. 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 Birthday. Okay, listen to me. I silence everybody. <laughs> the next one is it's birthday. Birth birthday. Birthday present. Birthday present. Birthday present. Okay. Pay birthday attention. Present. Pay attention to this one. Is birthday. Birth birthday. Birthday present. Birthday present. Birthday present. Happy birthday. 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 Happy birthday day okay happy birthday okay listen to me and practice okay how many brothers and sisters do you have mainly how many brothers and sisters do you have mainly actually i'm an only child actually, actually only child, child. Only child. Only child. Really? really really really, really? Yeah. 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 Most families in China have only one child nowadays. Most yeah. families in China, China, in China have, have one only child one child nowadays. nowadays. I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. 
What about you, Marcos? What about, what about you, Marcos? you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I, I come, come from, from a, big big family. Family. a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I, I have had three brothers, brothers, two brothers and two sisters. sisters. Wow, is that typical in El Salvador? Wow. 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 So, is that typical in El Salvador? Salvador? Not really. Not, Not really. 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 A lot of families mm -hmm. are smaller these days. A lot of, a lot lot of, of families are smaller, are smaller, smaller these days. 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 But big families are great. But, but big families, big families are, are great. great. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Because, because, because you get lots of birthday presents. Present. Birthday present. present. <laughs> birthday present excellent <laughs> so here in El Salvador it's very common to have more than one child right and families are very big these days so here I have like kind of a comparative chart from another country to your country right now I am going to ask Mario Barahona Jocelyn Tatiana and Hazel to help me to read the first part Mario is going to read the first two Jocelyn, the next one here, uh, Tatiana is going to read this one, and Hazel is going to read the last two. Okay, go ahead. 41% of homes have three or more televisions. Uh, 63 of family almost always eat diner together. Fifty-five of mother with young children work. Seventy-eight of high school students have jobs. Seventy-four percent of adults between the age of 18 to 35 marry. 27% of adults between the age of 18 to 34 live with their parents. Thank you very much, my dear students. Right in this one, it says 41%. 41% of homes have three or more televisions, right? 63% of families almost always eat dinner together. 55% of mothers with young children work. 78% of high school students have jobs. 74% of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 marry. And the last one, 27% of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. According to, this is about the United States, but what about El Salvador? If you have to make a comparison between the sentences that you have here to the reality of our country, what percentage will you include here? What percentage will you include here? 60%, maybe. Do you agree on that? ¿Todos están de acuerdo? Mm, 20%. 90%. 90%. 90% have three or more televisions. No. Here in El Salvador. 35. 35. 80%. 80%. Oh, vamos a hacer un sondeo. Vamos a ver, solamente aquí. Solamente los que estamos aquí. ¿Quién no tiene dos televisiones? ¿Quién tiene solo una tele? I. Me. 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 Okay, so we have only four people. So in this case, it will be 60% of my class has no more than two televisions. Who has more than two televisions? Me. 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 I have one, two, Three, <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so 
I would say that in El Salvador, we would say like, let's, let's leave it on 60, right? Oscar was right. Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. I have a, I have a question. Uh -huh. The, which is the topic for the exposition? I am going director. to give, I am going to give it to you after this one. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> en la siguiente slide. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Let's finish this one quickly. How many percent of families almost always eat dinner together? 50 percent? 50 percent. Maybe 50. Of mothers with young children work. La mamá de niño que trabaja. 90%. 90%. High school students have a job. 75%. ¿Quién de ustedes ya trabajaban en bachillerato? 40%. Yeah, I, I would say me in high school. 20, 20%. Okay, let's leave it on 40. Let's, let's leave it on 40. Adults between the ages of 18 to 35 get married. 50. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. <laughs> Adults between the age of 18 to 34 live with their parents. Mm. 30 30 percent no let's, yeah. leave it, let's leave it on 50 50 60 50, 50. 50. 50. Yeah. Yeah, 60. well very good yes luego se van <laughs> luego se van y de ahí regresan <laughs> alone. Uh, alone okay i am going to jump here okay for us to explain the presentation for tuesday aha uh -huh. No. The presentation for Tuesday. Pay attention, okay? You are going to create a two to three minute presentation describing yourself in third person, okay? Van a hablar de ustedes mismos, pero en tercera persona. So you're going to say, okay, uh, this is Natalie. She's a teacher. She works every day from seven in the morning to 10 p.m. She loves to speak English. She loves to read and everything. You are going to talk about your life, the things that you like, the things that you dislike, your daily activities in third person, right? You are going to talk a little bit about your experience in the module and you have to choose one challenge that you face in the module and describe it. I can say, well, she is Natalie. She loves reading. She loves speaking English. And she likes uh, learning new things. Her experience in English Corporativo was fantastic. She loved all the modules. And she liked the section number four that was about music, let's say. And the only problem that she had was the platform because it was very difficult. That's it, <laughs> right? You are going to describe yourself in, say, in third person, right? Talking about your personal information, likes, dislikes, daily activities, including your experience in the module. Please don't forget the presentation is in English. Don't say like, buenas, buenas, buenas. No, right, in English, everything. Uh, create material to help you present if you need, right? Si necesitan crear algún material para presentar, it's okay. It's not an obligation. If you want to put a picture of you, como autobiografía, that's fantastic. You have to keep your cameras active when you are speaking. And for sure, you have to pay attention during all the presentations and you have to ask at least one question. En toda la clase tienen que preguntar al menos una vez todos. Alguna cosa. Por ejemplo, eh, no sé si me pregunto, si hablo yo de, de, de mi experiencia del módulo, eh, Jonathan me puede preguntar, what was your favorite topic? Ah, it was music. Eh, what was your favorite class? Eh, Thanksgiving class, I can say. Ask at least one question. Okay, so that is going to be the presentation 
on Tuesday, right? Only two or three minutes. You are not going to say like, Natalie. Natalie was born in 1984 in Chalchuapa. She is 30, and you're going to say, in kindergarten, she, no, come on. In 2001, she met her first boyfriend. I know, come on, you are going to She it. likes to torture the students. She likes to talk <laughs> to the students a lot. Yeah, I mean, yes, I, I love that. <laughs> so, uh, please be specific, right, to the point to the point that it's going to be on Tuesday, right? During the weekend, I am going to send you one example of the presentation so you can kind of create your own presentation. Okay, so this is going to be for Tuesday. I am going to send you the image as well. Le voy a enviar esa imagen por si no le sacaron captura. Así que, be ready. I am going to see you on Monday for the next sorry, class. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Eh, decía, choose one of the challenge, eh, se refería a lo que está mencionando de los temas. Sí, algún reto que hayan, tienen, si presentaron algún reto o algo que les costó en la plataforma, lo pueden mencionar, o algo en, en todo el módulo en general, si tuvieron algún problema, lo pueden mencionar. Si no, es sobre pues, el módulo. Yes, it's about the module, uh, okay? okay? So, I am going to send you one example. I have to go to the next class. Have a beautiful uh, evening, my dear students. Enjoy your weekend, and I'm going to see you on Monday for another class. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. I have yes. a question. Yes. Uh, this presentation is for Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you, students. Good night. Bye. Bye. Have a beautiful night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.